So, Jerry, three months have passed, sir. Yep, one quarter behind us. I have always got difficulty remembering your stock name. I would call, <laughs> he, call it actually Bungee Jump or Yo Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called Graphene Nanocam. That's right, yeah. What happened? Well, basically, we started off the year on a soft note, as you remember, because we were dead last. And then uh, during the course of the quarter, uh, we got some buying interest in the share. We had some really good news in terms of uh, tax efficient treatment of a subsidiary, in terms of also uh, really nice results from uh, tests that an independent agent did on one of our mm -hmm. biofuel additives. As mm. you remember, it's one of those things where it's supposed to reduce the pollution mm -hmm. involved in drilling for oil. Mm -hmm. So that was really nice, and the share price went straight up, and for a brief period of, I think, three days, yep. uh, Graphene Nanochem was, what, number three in this competition? Uh -huh. Well up over 20%, so that was really nice. And then it just came down, 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 and we ended up, once again, dead last. Why? Well, it looks like it's got some long-term selling interests. We had an announcement in uh, the Malaysian Stock Exchange over the course of the month that a long-term investor who'd been involved in the original share before the reverse merger mm -hmm. uh, had divested themselves of around 1% of the underlying shares that are out there. Mm -hmm. So that's one of those things that you have to be aware of. The shares do have long-term sellers on them. But in this case, my takeaway from the quarter is that it's a mover, which is nice, and on good news, it goes up, which is nice too. So that's why I'm still pretty confident we're gonna see one pound before the end of the year. Well, there seems to be a lot of good news, right. but it's a news is basically more like hope. Um, well, it's a name share. <laughs> so it's not one of those things where you can True. say, take it to the bank or sell the farm and buy it. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those things where you look at it and go, it's in the right sector, it's got the right ideas in terms of oil and the recovery area, mm -hmm. and drilling, exploration, all that sort of stuff. But it, in terms of what it does, which is try to use nanotechnology and smart chemicals to try to mm -hmm. reduce pollution, I think everybody's going to enjoy that part of it. And as people try to reduce the cost of exploration because the price of oil isn't going back above 100 anytime soon, mm. then anything that can save money will be popular. But are there any similar, other similar stocks in name? Not that I know of, to be honest. Because okay. I knew there, there were some in the same sector of nanotechnology. But in terms of the sector of trying to be involved in an existing industry and actually making money like they are now, mm -hmm. in terms of the exploration for oil. Mm. Um, and remember, they also have the palm oil business. There's nothing like that. So you're sticking to your guns? Oh yeah, <laughs> quietly confident. <laughs> quietly confident. Of course. We'll see, we'll see. So once again, it's one of those ironies where you're still number one and I'm so last. So you make me feel like I'm in the top 40 chart or something like that. <laughs> but uh, uh, well, I think um, over the last quarter, there are two dresses that actually attract a lot of attention. Forget about that who guess about color, but the other one that will be the D Duchess of Cambridge wearing the maternity dress from uh, ASOS. Very good. Always the firm was doing, the firm was doing okay. It was, remember it was seven, more than seven pounds last year. It, uh, it dropped to probably three quang something. So recovery has been uh, quite good this year. I will stick to my argument that uh, it's a stock basically benefit from firstly, people who are looking for familiarity and also uh, big names they, are, uh, they know of when they invest in A. So that's the main thing. Second reason obviously is the current low interest rate environment also uh, benefit from uh, people spending more money on retail, etc. There's a general trend that people spend more online anyway. There are obviously some risks and uh, competition from other branded uh, retailers like Next, etc., who are coming out online. And also, uh, election. You never know what's going to happen for election. Maybe there's some change in tax, etc., etc. Okay. The risk for that is probably lowest, but never rule it out. Uh, I still think that there's more upside. I think uh, next at the moment is around four pounds, something like that. Next target is four pounds forty, mm -hmm. around ten percent. Then five quid. Any correction, probably first support is three pounds fifty, and then uh, three pounds. So I will also stick to my guns, and maybe we should try again in three months' time. See whether we are still like South Pole and North Pole apart. <laughs> Hopefully we're both North Pole together. <laughs> I would hope so. Anyway. Okay, thank you, Jerry. Thank you, James.